What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here and we're gonna do a little impromptu video. I'm out here shooting with my STI Apiero today and I've had a few questions about it and I realized that I've never done a video on it at all or even shown it. We'll just talk about what it is really quick, we'll do some first shots and then later on we'll do a full review. I just wanted to get a video out there on it that way you guys, I guess, knew what it was when I talk about it. But this is a 2011 frame 1911, so it's a high capacity double stack 1911, chambered in nine millimeter. Uh, built for competition, that's pretty much it. As you see, there's no accessory rail or anything like that. Uh, if you know what the STI Edge is, the Apero is kind of a version of that, except for it has these cool saber tooth cuts, which really attracted me to the gun, and it has an island barrel on it. So a lot of the slide is cut out, and it's uh, on the barrel. It's also called the sight tracking system. I like it because it keeps the sight there so the sight's not reciprocating. So if you're as fast as Jerry Michalek, you can shoot faster because the sight doesn't move. But the main reason why I like it is because the, it keeps the weight on the slide down. And I'm one of those believers in the less mass going backward, the less recoil you have. And this gun is very low recoil. Now one of the advantages that this gun has is the trigger. You know, the 1911 trigger is the best trigger on the market, and this puts that trigger and that battery of arms and that ergonomics, you know, it's very similar ergonomics even though there's a better grip, in a package that is pretty reliable and it is uh, high capacity, which takes away a couple of the problems with the 1911. Basically the capacity, because I think you can get magazines that hold 27 rounds for this. So uh, capacity is not an issue. It has an ambi safety on it. It normally has an extended magazine release, but I have that taken off right now because I was doing some dremeling on my custom grip. This is an aftermarket grip. We'll talk about that later. Uh, I installed it myself. It's not that difficult. And it has really, really good sights. It's a very thin fiber optic front with a blacked out rear. This is one of my favorite guns to shoot, but it is not cheap. I think I got this gun for $2,400. So uh, let's see what $2,400 can buy you. All day on that big one. Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah, reload. There's a couple upsides and a couple downsides to this gun that I didn't talk about. Number one, there's so many accessories for this that you can customize it to do pretty much whatever you want. Right now I'm shooting 115 grain remanufactured ammo from Freedom Munitions, which is notoriously unreliable in most of my guns because it's too underpowered. And you can change the spring system in this. You can do that in every gun, but it, there's so many parts available that you can tune your gun any way you want. Now a big downside to this gun is you see these magazines here, they might as well be made of gold because they're probably the most expensive magazines that you're gonna get for any handgun. Uh, good quality 2011 magazines can cost you upwards of $130 and even more in some cases. So this is not a gun for people that want something on a budget. So what do I think about the STI Apero? Well, it's very expensive. Is it worth it to you? I don't know. Do you shoot a lot of competition? Do you want the absolute best out of a firearm? Do you want to be able to shoot very tiny groups very quickly? That's really up to you whether you want to spend it or not. I'm still on the fence on whether or not it's worth it to me. Uh, it's got an amazing trigger. It's got the 1911 trigger, except it's even more souped up. It's got very low recoil. It's very, very accurate. It's very fast. All the controls are meant for pure speed. The reloads are very quick with this huge magwell. I mean, you can't even miss. I can do it without even looking. 
I'll give the rest on a full review that I plan on getting done here pretty soon, and we'll see how it goes. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Make sure to check out my new channel, which is Classic Rando. On that, we're going to be doing MMA stuff, movie stuff, maybe some video game stuff. Just doing some different stuff that I wouldn't normally do on my channel. And also, if you want to help me out, you can help me out on Patreon. And my Patreon link is in the description below, along with a link to a local homeless shelter that could really use your support as well. And if you got to pick between the two, go with the homeless shelter. But if you have extra money and you want to help both, I would love the support. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.